How you doing? I'm meteorologist Paul Dieno with a Como 4 Dub, a special weather webcast as we have this on the ground throughout much of western Washington. Snow is falling right in the shadow of the Space Needle this morning and likely where you are we are seeing some snow falling. The roads are icy and wet. There is snow on the ground, one to three inches in many locations. As we head back inside, folks, we have a lot to talk about, a lot to cover. Many weather changes just coming up over the next 24 hours. First, take a look at some of the snowfall totals. Let's get right to it. I'll swing on over here. North Bend, 5.2 inches of snow. North Port, 5 inches of snow. Port Angeles, 4.5 inches of snow. Let's see, Pomeroy, 4 inches of snow. Some in central Washington, Wenatchee, 3.8. Auburn, three inches of snow. We've got Spokane, got about 2.5 inches of snow. Another location in North Bend, two and a half inches. It goes on and on. Many of you had a lot of snowfall on Sunday. Additional snowfall coming down on the radar this morning. A lot of different sources of information I want to give you. Light to moderate snow showers. It absolutely, positively isn't even close to what we had in December of 2008. But it really is the first widespread snowfall we've had in western Washington over about the past 20 months or so. Low pressure diving down from the north and west. The heaviest snow will be in southwest Washington. But as far north as about Everett and through the strait, we'll be seeing some snowfall today. About an inch or so, give or take, around Seattle and Tacoma. One to three inches in southwest Washington. And we could also see some snow down toward Portland. Now, once that ends, the story does not not end. A strong north wind will come down from the Fraser Valley again from up toward Bellingham and move through all of western Washington. Look at our clock here. 8 o'clock tonight. Wind chills in the teens and 20s and look at where we are heading. Watch the temperatures drop as the clock moves into the morning hours. We are all going to wake up to temperatures at least feeling like cooler than 20 degrees. That's some dangerous cold for the kids at the bus stop, so please watch out for that on Tuesday. And how about this for a stat for Tuesday afternoon? We are forecasting a high of 29 degrees. In November, we have stayed at or below freezing only once for an entire day since 1985. So folks, Tuesday will likely be one of the coldest November days we have had in 25 years. So that is the cold weather that is coming up in our forecast once the snow is finished, and that's not going to be finished until 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Nothing too terribly heavy, but it has created a huge mess on the road and continue to do that. Now, as for the wind, a wind advisory is up for Bellingham. See those brighter colors of green right there, corresponding with 30 or 35 mile per hour winds and the strong winds working their way from the Fraser River Valley right through the sound, and we'll see 20 or 30 mile per hour wind gusts even in Seattle and Tacoma and Everett making that wind chill overnight tonight somewhere between 5 and 15 degrees for most of western Washington. Okay, a lot of you are sick and tired of the snow, sick and tired of the cold. I have good news for you as well. Looking at the long-range forecasts from late November to early December, yeah, we're not going to be above normal, but the likelihood is we'll be pretty close to normal temperature-wise as the really cold stuff shifts over to the east coast. Now one caveat there, we're going to be getting wet. Very high likelihood the storm track will be heading right toward western Oregon, western Washington. So we'll be mild, grabbing that onshore flow. Translation, no snow in the lowlands. But we will be wet. That carries us until the beginning of December. The 8 to 14 day outlook keeps us above normal. Very high likelihood of above normal rainfall. But temperature-wise, staying near normal. So the chance of snow pretty much ends today, Monday. We will stay cold through Wednesday. After that, after Thanksgiving, transitioning to a drier pattern, but also a wetter pattern. So that is a quick look at what's been going on. Snow until this afternoon, wind and cold overnight tonight, super cold on Tuesday. And then we just get into good old western Washington fall, which will be wet and back to normal. That is a special Como 4 dub for this wintry Monday morning. Snow is outside our window, probably is outside yours too.